What's going on YouTube? Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you watched my previous video, you probably recognize I'm wearing the same outfit and we're filming in the same place. This is because we are now at the end of November and days are shorter. It's also, I have a lot of, like it's a couple days during the weekend that I can film, it's windy. So that doesn't help my case, but I wanna go ahead and get some content out for you guys. So that's why I'm recording multiple, multiple videos in the same day, but may, maybe you don't know that. So this one is focused on the 09 to 14 Raptor style grill. So I bought this grill about two years ago. I'm gonna show you a quick photo right here of what it looked like before I painted it. And now this is what it looks like after it's been painted. Removing the original grill, you do will most likely break the clips up here. That pretty much happens to everybody. Uh, any other videos I've watched, it happened to myself. So there pretty much is no going back once you do that. But this, these new ones, the clips are, I guess, a little bit thinner. They don't they don't secure as well, but it doesn't like it doesn't doesn't do anything. Uh, so it's easy to take on and off, especially when you're wiring up the grill. So as you saw in that first picture, it was just all plastic, like a like a matte black finish. Um, and then I went ahead and had it painted. So initially, I did a spray paint just to see how it turned out, and then I ended up getting it painted by a shop later on. It works, but the material is pretty cheap. So honestly, I wouldn't like if you have this painted and you want to like think about repainting, you might as well buy a whole new grill because I still have like, as you can see, like there's some peeling right there. Um, the touch up marks from my original paint job are still shown. It's just hard to have this look brand new with how cheap it's like the plastic it's made out of. I think this is the best way to paint match. I know some people don't paint this or they, they like they don't do like the sides there it's this to me is the best way to do it and all you have to do is you pretty much just tape off the honeycomb and paint everything else and that's just the best looking in my opinion and easiest way to paint this grill uh i have had to replace these lights i will link below where i purchased this grill from but those leds did go out on me so i had to replace these three with some from amazon I will link that down below as well of where I bought the replacements because a lot of people that buy this grill end up having to replace this because they will go out or they start flickering and two lights look stupid. So either you have three or you have none. But yeah, I will go ahead and pop the hood and show you guys how easy it is to install this. If you have not changed out your grill, this isn't like a full installation, but I'm just gonna show you all quickly what you have to do in order to get this off. And if you're interested in doing this at home. So pretty much I've got the wire ran down from here all the way down the side and it plugs into this bulb right here, your parking light. You don't want to wire it to your turn signal. You don't want to wire it to your headlights. But when your parking lights are on is when those three lights are triggered. So, and that is just splicing into that wire. So you got to take your headlight out, you splice in, you, get, you have, so you're pretty much going to have two um, outputs and one input. So like the parking light and then these this power are on one side and then the power from the actual truck harness is on the other side going into it. Really simple. If you've done any wiring before, this is like the basic of the basic. So I've got it run up there and then I've got it behind. This one was missed because it's supposed to be behind here, but it's just zip tied around there. I have pushed the run the wires behind these mounting points so they're not hanging down except right there as well that one was uh, that's not a you just have to zip tie that to the actual light housing so a little bit of zip tying but it cleans up pretty well you can't really tell um installation wise all you got to do is remove that screw that screw that screw that screw and this one and this one and then you'll push it up and that's where the clips will start to break i broke two clips it wasn't a big deal but like i said you probably won't put that old if you're gonna put that old grill back on it's just those clips will be broken but it still locks in place with all the bolts so it's not a huge huge problem and then once that grill comes off you get this this lower bar right here as you can see here you've got to take this off the, your old grill and put it on your new grill so that's just unscrewing like all of these right here and then just re-screwing them all back on the new grill so it's really simple it's, it it's, doesn't take long easy installation wiring up the i guess wiring up the lights would be the longest part and then making sure when you 
put that new grill back on, you want to put them behind there. You can hand wire these connections behind, but it's easier if you can just have someone else with you and make sure that they're behind here prior to like securing the bolts. And yeah, so that's all that is to that installation. I think it looks great. Uh, my paint job was from three feet away. You couldn't even tell it was a spray paint. I just went to AutoZone and bought like that paint match. You gotta get some adhesive primer first to spray onto the plastic. And then you get the actual paint can of the color of your truck. And then that just sits on top of that. So I think I did like three to five coats. I mean, this has a bunch of coats now because it's been repainted by actual shop. But like I said, I mean, you can still see my paint touch-ups underneath and it peels a little bit right there. So it's just, it's not the best to paint, but it certainly from five feet back, it looks way better than just this picture right here. So I can't believe I actually rocked the unpainted version for like a year and it just it looks so much better like this if you're going to do the frapper grill some people hate on it but i think this looks great not many grills can be pulled off on this body style truck i had the original fx4 grill which is like the silver with the little ford emblem in the middle but i just thought this one was a little bit more aggressive so hope this helped if you have any other questions about installing that grill or about the grill just go ahead and drop them below if you want to know anything else about the truck be sure to drop a comment and we will see y'all in the next one. Thank you for tuning in.